Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video and in this video we are going to see what is view binding in Android. So view binding is very amazing concept in Android and as an Android developer you should know this kind of concept because view binding is going to help you everywhere. So you are using find view ID and that is very tedious code and you have to write, write lots of code for find view ID. So instead of find view ID we can use view binding directly. So view binding has a lots of advantages then find view id so in this video we are not going to do in, go in theory portion we will directly see an example how we can use view binding and then we will see some advantages over the find view id so don't further delay now let's start the video and see what is view binding in android so for this i have to open my project so you can open any project so i open this empty project so you can see this empty project does not contain anything it contain a xml file with a text view and a button so now let us suppose why we should use view binding instead of find view ID. So first of all try to understand what is view binding. View binding is help to directly bind the data from our main activity. So we don't need to assign any XML ID into our Java ID. Previously what I do let us suppose I have to declare an ID here in our XML then I have to declare an ID here in our main activity.kt or Java file it is your choice whatever you use Java or Kotlin and then we have to assign the XML ID into our Java IDs and then we can use it. So instead of that we can directly access these views by declare by using view binding. So this is the first advantage. Second advantage it is it provides the null safety. So what is null safety? It never going to be null. So let us suppose you are trying to view you are trying to bind a view which don't exist. So on that time it will provide the null safety and it also provide the type safety. So now what is type safety? So let us suppose you have a 20 button in your XML file and the button names are button 1, button 2, button 3 and so on. So by mistake if you assign the Java ID of button 1 into button 2. So when you run the application it will not going to show any error. It will not going to show any error. So but when you click on the button then it will going to crash our application. So it will create a long time for first of all we have to run this then we have to check all buttons whether the work buttons working or not then we have to debug the code. So instead of directly we can avoid everything and we can directly use the view binding so it never going to show our null safety it provides the null safety it provides the type safety so now let's see how to implement view binding in android and we are going to see in very easiest example so first of all for implementing view binding in android you have to come inside your build.gradle module app here below this so you can see this is the build.gradle module app and here below this you have to type here build features build features then you have to take two curly braces and inside this you have to type here view binding and assign it to true so now we can use this so you have to click on sync now so you can see now it is sync successfully so now i will show you how it is working so let us suppose i you can see i have a two things a text view and a button so let's give an id so you can see i give the id to our text view text view and i give the id to my button button so you can give any id's name now if i want to use these ids into our java kotlin file or java file then previous approach is first of all i have to type here late in it where then i have to declare the type of text view and the type and then type of the view then after this we have what i have to do here i have to type here at text view equal find view id r dot id dot this kind of thing so it will going to create lots of confusion now let us suppose by mistake if i give here button so it will going to crash our application but it will not going to show error on runtime uh, or we can say compile time but it will crash our application when we click on this and we, when we are using this so it is very longer process to debug the code so instead of this we can directly use the view binding so how we can use view binding because we are already enabled view binding inside our build.gradle module app so we have to type here private let init where then when you type here binding so it will automatically going to show this suggestion so you can see we are going to implement the binding for our activity main so it will automatically create this class activity main and it add a suffix word binding here so you can give any variable name of i am going to give here binding but you can give any variable name it is your choice so after this press enter so you can see now it is done now the object is declared successfully now instead of set content view r dot layout dot activity main we have to use some different thing here so you have to type here binding this is the object name and equal then what we want to bind our main activity so activity main binding dot inflate and inside this you have to pass a layout inflator that's it then after this you have to set this so set content view and inside this you have to type here binding dot root and that's it so now we are able to directly use the activity main components inside our xml 
so now i will show you so let us suppose if i want to change the text of my this text view if i click on button so i can directly type here binding then dot when you type here dot it automatically is going to show all selection which is present in our xml so you can see if i click on binding dot btn dot set on click list now then two curly braces so i can directly use this so i want to set the text on text view so binding dot text view dot set text and inside this i can pass any text so this is view binding so now let's check our application whether the application is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video so i press on run button and you can see gradle start building so the gradle build successful so it will install the application inside our phone so you can see by default whatever whatever project contain text display here so you can see on our activity main xml file by default the text is text display here so if i click on button it will going to show this text so you can see this is view binding so you can see it is working fine and it is very easy easiest thing in android so maybe you see like it is reducing one or two line but let us suppose you are working on a big project which contain lots of xml file lots of buttons lots of components so on that time this is going to be very amazing thing so make sure you use this thing from future in future in your projects so thank you so if you have any query after watching this video you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video soon i am going to upload the entire series on android jetpack components which are and which will going to the amazing series on youtube so please like the video and please share the video thank you see you soon in next amazing video